Well, hello, Capricorns. Welcome to October and welcome to your horoscope. We're going to be getting um, some tips about your and some tricks and some insights into your energetic body using the Chakra Insight Oracle. You know how we love to do self-care here on Red Lentil Healing. So getting a tip for your self-care using the Sacred Self-Care Oracle And then, you know, I like to spice it up. Why not? For the month of October, we're going to be pulling a tarot card using the Modern Witch Tarot. And then last but not least, ending on a positive note and getting a power message using the Crystal Power Tarot. So how have you guys been? How's um, your transition from summer to fall? I hope everything is going well for you guys. I hope you're amped up for a very prosperous and change-impacting um, fall that we're going into. Hope you guys are enjoying the um, not too hot, not too cool weather. And um, getting ready to be like little squirrels and bunnies and bears and starting to get ready to um, hoard all your materials so you can start hibernating in um, winter when we get towards your horoscope sign or your zodiac sign. So let's take a look into your energetic body. The first car, or the card that we're getting for you guys is the throat chakra. And it's the card about will, your expression, your assertiveness, your self-control, and getting some direction. Um, Will. Will is amazing with the throat chakra. So normally when people think of will, they think of willpower, and then they think of the um, solar plexus chakra, which is below the throat chakra. Your solar plexus chakra is your house of willpower, your house of action. However, there's so much will and willpower that lies in the throat chakra because your throat chakra is about speaking divine truth, speaking divine truth. How do you talk about yourself? How do you express your needs to not only your friends and family, but to the universe, to God, to whatever higher power you may or may not choose to believe in? How do you use your ability to speak to have as a, a, a weapon, a component uh, in your arsenal for self-control. So there's a lot of aspects when you think about will as it pertains to your throat chakra, but it all boils down to your ability to speak divine truth. So if you want things in your life, you have to speak it to universe and you have to ask for it. You have to try to manifest it by using your voice to as your power okay so using your voice as your weapon of power to manifest the things that you want in your life to express i want this and i deserve this in my life speaking it out loud so it can come to fruition that is what will is telling you and speaking to you for your throat chakra okay for the self-care tip of the month you're getting be still Um, You see, this is a lovely lady. She looks like she's in Shavasana. She's on a yoga mat and she's just being still. So much comes from stillness. So many answers can come from stillness. You don't always have to be go, 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 active, 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 move, plotting, planning. Sometimes it is okay to just sit yourself down and just be still. You get so much that you need, believe it or not, from stillness in the forms of peace in the form of answers, in the form of guidance, okay? So when you ask for what you want, okay, using your throat chakra to manifest that will that you need in your life, after that, sometimes you need to be still so you can receive and get the answers that you need and that you asked for, okay? So being still. Your tarot card for the month is the hanged man, the hanged, the hanged man. This one's called the hanged one, but the hanged man. The hanged man is sometimes about. Uh, it's about changing your pers- a change in perspective. It can also be about self sacrifice. Okay, so what do you need to change your perspective about in your life? What are some things that you're maybe banging your head against the wall trying to get what you want? Um, I'm trying to push this. I'm trying to make it through, and it may not be happening. Is that because you need to change your perspective about what you're asking for and the things that you're trying to attain? Okay, this is all about um, he's upside down, um, changing about changing your perspective. 
okay? And it's okay to do that because it may be, you may be called on and to change it in order for you to have a new insight so you can either change your tactic about how you're trying to achieve this goal or maybe this goal is not meant for you in this time in this space and you may need to adjust and to pivot, okay? So the hanged man. And your power message for the month is the Knight of Wands. I make decisions without pressure. Don't don't let anybody back baby into a corner. You are not one to be backed into a corner. And if you are, I'll remember that that may be an illusion. That may be pressure you're putting on yourself. It may not be a real threat or pressure from outside. It may be something that you're pressuring yourself to do. Take a deep back breath. Take a step back so you can make that decision without pressure. I always kind of equate it to having to buy the car when your car is on the side of the road, but yet the used car salesman can see that your car is broken down on the side of the road. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> don't put yourself into that. Don't feel like you need to be trapped and boxed into that situation. Take a step back. Take a deep breath. Be still so you can get the answers you need. Speak up. Use your throat chakra to ask universe or your friends and family whatever you need ask for direction ask for the things you want change your perspective so you can make decisions without feeling pressure okay hope this helped you guys i'm really looking forward to seeing you guys next month when we do our november horoscope until then make sure you're taking care of yourself first because you can't pour from that empty cup you can't inflate a tire when you got no air left in your body. You get what I'm saying, right? Take care of yourself first. So then and only then are you able to really effectively help your community, help your friends and family so we can all collectively take care of mama earth. All right. Till the next video, take care. Bye guys.